You break your piggy bank to discover lots of pennies and nickels. You start arranging these in rows of eight coins. For number one, you find yourself making rows containing an equal number of pennies and nickels. So if you're forming rows of eight coins, that means each row would have four pennies and four nickels. For fun, you decide to lay out every possible such row. How many coins will you need? We can solve this problem using a bit string where we can let zero equal a penny and a one equal a nickel. So if we laid out four pennies and four nickels, we would have the eight bit string of zero, 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 one, 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 one. Notice how this is an eight bit string with a weight of four because there are four ones. So from here, if we determine the number of eight bit strings with a weight of four, we can determine the number of rows once we know the number of rows, we can determine the number of coins by multiplying by eight because each row has eight coins. So again, to determine the number of rows, we need to determine the cardinality of B84, which again is the number of eight bit strings of weight four. And this is equal to eight choose four. Let's go ahead and evaluate this by hand. This is equal to eight factorial divided by the product of eight minus four factorial and four factorial. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Let's expand eight factorial as eight times seven times six times five times four factorial. We're stopping here because there's a four factorial in the denominator. Actually notice how there's two four factorials. Let's expand one of them. Four factorial is four times three times two times one. And we still have times four factorial. And now simplifying, four factorial divided by itself simplifies to one. Notice we have three times two or six in the denominator as well as the numerator. Six divided by six simplifies to one. And also notice eight and four share a common factor of four. There's one, four, and four, and two, four is an eight. We're left with two times seven times five, which is 70. So remember this is the number of rows, not the number of coins. And the question asks, how many coins? And because each row has eight coins, the number of coins is equal to 70 times eight, which is equal to 560. Number two, how many coins would you need to make all possible rows of eight, not necessarily with an equal number of pennies and nickels? So again, each row is going to have eight coins. So again, if we think of this as an eight bit string, each binary digit must be zero or one. And therefore, if we determine the total number of eight bit strings, we can determine the total number of rows possible. And then from there, we can multiply by eight to determine the total number of coins. So again, to determine the total number of eight bit strings, we need to calculate two to the power of n, which means in our case, n is equal to eight. So the number of rows is equal to two to the power of eight, which is equal to 256. And therefore the number of coins that you would need to form all of these rows would be 256 times eight, since each row has eight coins. And 256 times eight is equal to 2048. And this does answer the question, you need 2048 coins to form all the possible rows. I hope you found this helpful.